I question many things in life. What does the future have to offer? Will I ever own a mansion? And perhaps most importantly, why are there no Vectrex games on Steam? But there's one question I never saw coming. Why does this game exist? I wasn't asking for it. Some guy just threw it in my yard one day. Here you go, asshole. I reviewed many LEGO games on YouTube, but this was the one LEGO game that should have never been made. The only question that remains now is, how much longer can I procrastinate talking about it? Alright, one last LEGO game to cover, and this one is a real doozy. LEGO Friends. As we've seen, most of the LEGO games I've talked about here in Forgotten Games are either good or at least okay, but this is the first LEGO game to be specifically targeted towards females. So, is it any good, or at least decent, or something much, much worse? Well, I've already wasted about a half an hour's worth of your time already, so might as well stop delaying the inevitable. Wait a minute. What's this? Exclusive music video by pop sensation Loose Chippins? Well, holy hell, we gotta check that out. As expected, it's not too good. But there's also an interview with the band, and oh my god, it's Billy Joe Armstrong's long lost sister. What is she doing here? Wait, what's going on now? Why is this lady filming whatever the hell they're doing? Crap, we gotta cut away from this quick before anything else happens. It has the Falling Bricks intro. That's a good sign, right? Hopefully we'll be in good hands with a developer whose name is... Ivan Off Interactive. Yeah, we're doomed. Hello! Welcome to LEGO Friends. Oh, boy! Sunnyvale's a great place where there's lots to do. We have a band and we're into writing music and dancing. The less animation, the better. Right? So basically, this girl tells you about her friends and how they're in a band, and that I should visit her friend's basement. No, literally, that is what she tells you to do, word for word. You should visit Anita's basement. What are we going to do in Anita's basement? What, you're not going to tell me? That's a great way to introduce a new player. It's like, hey, welcome to LEGO Friends, get in my basement. After that excitement, we get to enter ourselves a name, password, and my friend's name for some weird reason. Yep, yep. Yep, that's, that's about right. Okay, now let's hit up Anita's basement. Hi, I'm really glad you came. Want to hear some hot gossip? Oh god, no! Hey, why the sad faces? Ask Emma. She just can't take criticism. She said I was dancing like a chicken. Right on, you would lost the beat. If anybody lost the beat, it was Jules. That's right, blame me. It sounds like they all messed up. Come on, tough stuff, let's try it again. BE QUIET! Yeah, shut up. Oops. Maybe we should be called Deaf Stuff. Wanna help us out a little? Okay, so it looks like we've stumbled upon a music producer of sorts. It's pretty basic, but there are a good amount of harmonies and samples to use, so if you really want to get into it, you probably could make something decent, or even a god-awful LEGO Friends mixtape. But if you don't care like I did, then you can literally have nothing, and they'll be happy with it. And if you get bored with that, you can make this girl dance to the song you made, or in my case, the nothing that I made. Yay! Yeah! Hmm, where to next? How about the bedroom? Great to see you! We're going to open Grandma's old chest. 
Okay, but why? It might be full of gorgeous ball gowns. Don't count on it. Grandma was a car mechanic. But what? What relevance does that have? Weird things for a car mechanic. Maybe she was a star mechanic. Are, are you serious? That's not even a joke. It... <sighs> this is worth recording in the scrapbook. Okay then, my. Friends found some old shit in Grandma's chest. What? That is what happened! If it isn't obvious already, what this game basically comes down to is extremely basic activities and watching animated cutscenes that look like crap. That's all. There's nothing else to this game. The majority of the cutscenes have no relevance to the story, and the girls just talk about typical teenage girl nonsense that no one really cares about. But at least the game isn't sexist. The most enjoyment I had with the game was probably the scrapbooking because it will let you write anything you want. The manual states, the best thing about the scrapbook is that everything you put in it is completely private. Unless someone finds out your password, no one will ever be able to see what you type into the scrapbook. Except for when you make a review on this game 17 years later for the internet to laugh at. Wait, what's this? Which girl is my best friend? Well, that's kind of a hard question when you can only judge them by their hair. My favorite place? Hmm, is it the stairs, teapot, window, or math equation? I don't know, that's a hard one. My... My color is? Is that really an acceptable question to ask in a kid's game? Uh, at Tina's Cafe, I like to order... The Tequila! And my secret? I understand that LEGO Friends was intended for younger girl audiences, but I don't even see that age demographic getting much enjoyment out of this game. There's barely anything to do, the animation is very poor for a 1999 PC game, and worst of all, it has absolutely nothing to do with LEGO. It truly doesn't! Where are the minifigures? Where is the constructing? Where's anything LEGO related? It honestly feels like the developers made a piss-poor game that was simply called Friends, but then they were like, oh wait, we'll get copyrighted up the butt for that. Let's slap the LEGO name on it to make it more appealing on a store shelf. They just had to call it LEGO Friends, huh? They couldn't call it anything else and had to put the LEGO name on it because that's what people buy, LEGO. I mean, there's no way it would have sold otherwise, and if LEGO wasn't in the title at all, I wouldn't even be talking about it. But instead, here I am ranting about an innocent little PC game intended for little girls that I, and well, probably you too, couldn't give any shit about whatsoever. There was literally no redeeming factor to LEGO Friends. Well, except for this. Guess what? I sleep with my cousin. Yeah, that's great! Yeet! Hold it! Wanna help us make some sex? That was amazing! We were pretty smooth! Yeah! Yay! It's Tony. His cousin heard us from your place. Hi, Nick. Okay. See you. That Nick is a dick. It's a <laughs> Emma's birthday. Get unwrapping. Wow, for me, it's going to take a while to get the hang of this. Ah! Oops. 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 <laughs> CD in your computer. It says there's a surprise waiting for me at home. I knew it! The guys were eating. Great to see you! We're going to open Grandma. Maybe we should write about it in the scrapbook. Oh, hi. Things have gotten a little out of hand. This is a great bedroom.
It's really private and perfectly parent-proof. Looks like we're ready for some real rock. Hey, thank you guys for watching the video, it really means a lot to me. I hope you enjoyed this LEGO Games Marathon, I certainly had a lot of fun making these videos. Kinda crazy to think of the amount of LEGO Games I've covered on Forgotten Games, I know there were some ones I missed out on, but hey, it had to stop at some point, and 10 is pretty good I think. <laughs> Forgotten Games will now return to regular non-LEGO episodes, so subscribe if you wish to catch the next one. I also have my previous three LEGO videos right here if you're up for some more Forgotten Games. And that about wraps it up, so I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Thank you again for watching, have a good one.